Hey, this is Jeff Komar with Avid Pro Audio. I'd like to take a look at some of the new Audio Suite improvements in Pro Tools 10. Let's actually go up to the Audio Suite menu and open up a simple compressor. And the first thing you're going to see is that, much like real time plugins in Pro Tools, we now have a targeting icon for Audio Suite plugin windows as well. What this allows me to do is to detarget this particular compressor. Then I can go up and grab, for example, an EQ and open up multiple Audio Suite plugin windows simultaneously. If you want, you can also use the Shift key. So if this was still active, I could hold down the Shift key and then go and grab that EQ, and that's going to do the same type of process. So in this case, I'm using a compressor and an EQ. Maybe I'm working on a voiceover chain, and uh, I've got particular settings that I want to maybe use again in my project. Well, I can actually preserve those settings and be able to recall those on the fly. And we do this by taking advantage of window configurations. So if I open up the window configurations list, I can make a new configuration. Let's just call this voice. Okay. And now this, when I hit OK, it's not only going to save the windows, the layout, and the particular arrangement, but also the settings for those particular plugins. So if we open up our window configuration list, you can see you may have different applications. You may be, in this case, working on some cleaning and um, noise reduction for dialogue tracks or, or elements. In this case, I've got a filter set as well as a noise suppressor. If we go back to our voice chain, you can see obviously I've got my Massenburg EQ and I've got a hybrid compressor. If we go to the vocal chain, you can see I'm actually using the same EQ, but with different settings. So this is really powerful in terms of being able to save a setup depending on the production task at hand. I'm just going to bring up our EQ only for a second here. Now the clip that we have on the timeline you can see has real-time fades applied. It also has clip-based gain applied. Both real-time fades and clip-based gain are new features included in the Pro Tools 10 release. Check out those respective modules for more information about those features. And um, the settings that are currently set up, that is render clip by clip and create individual files, are going to allow me to not only preserve the real-time fades, but also preserve the metadata of the file. Check out the Field Recorder workflow for more information about Field Recorder workflow applications. So I'm going to hit Render. And you can see it appended the render process to the name. It didn't change the fades. And obviously, Clip Gain remains unchanged as well. One other thing that happened in that process is the idea that I can now apply Audio Suite handles. I can actually come in here and dial in a specific pad that I want to add to the top and the tail of the clip before I render it. And you can actually see that I've got two seconds of pad at the back of this clip because that was the default render time. Now, if we go into our preferences, you can actually see that I can set up under processing, I can actually set up the default handle length for audio suite processes. And in this case, it's set to two seconds. So every time I hit render, by default, I'm going to get two second handles on that clip. Now, one other process option that I have in here is to be able to process the entire clip. Let's say you've got uh, a piece of dialogue and you're, you're cleaning it, you're doing some noise reduction, you want to apply that to the whole parent file. Um, even if I just select the, the child or the partial clip, I can click whole file and I can render that process to the entire parent file. And that's a really powerful new feature that we have now in Pro Tools 10.